Welcome to Kiwi Tarantula. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Applebee's. Today we are taste testing Applebee's entree menu. And I'm so pumped about it because I've tried Applebee's appetizers, I think pastas, desserts, but not the entrees. And there's some new desserts that I haven't tried ever. So I'm so pumped about that. So yeah, we have a lot of food. We have all this and this little queen right here. So cute. I'm gonna taste test everything, give you my honest opinion, rate it all from one to 10 and let you know what's good at Applebee's, at least in my opinion. Okay, so let's talk about what I got. I got a prime rib sandwich, Caesar salad, sizzling butter pecan blondie, a classic cheeseburger, four cheese mac and cheese, chicken tenders, fries, a chicken fajita roll up, a house salad, Applebee's riblets. <laughs> what is a riblet? I'm not sure, but I had to try it. Crunchy onion rings, garlic mashed potatoes, fiesta lime chicken, Spanish rice, and a triple chocolate meltdown. That sounds like my kind of meltdown, okay? So yeah, I got tons of stuff. It's gonna be a great time, a very hungry, feast-filled time. So grab a meal, eat with me. But guys, before we start, the other day I tried the most delicious Japanese snacks ever. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. I'm about to try some of the best Japanese snacks and I'm ready. So Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are both monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes. With Tokyo Treat, you'll get up to 20 of the most latest limited edition exclusive pop Japanese snacks. And with Sakurako, you'll get 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks. So if you want more pop snacks, Tokyo Treat. If you want more traditional snacks, Sakurako. But they're both amazing, so if you want both, get both. <laughs> now let's quickly talk about the themes. Tokyo Treat has this beautifully designed themed box for Halloween, hello! We love spooky season. It's limited edition, and it's filled with limited edition Halloween themed Japanese snacks such as Halloween sweet potato flavored Kit Kats, Halloween Tohata caramel corn, and the infamous Tokyo Lair loaf is back again, but this time in pumpkin maple flavor. And this month's Sakurako theme is Ibaraki Harvest. It's in collaboration with the local Ibaraki government, and it's filled with Ibaraki's culinary rich treats. This box contains a variety of crunchy and fruity snack options in a variety of flavors such as the Ibaraki Chestnut Carinto, Biniazuma Sweet Potato Cake, and Ibaraki Blueberry Manju. If you're curious about natto, this month's box has a natto snack in it, and I'm so pumped to try it. Okay, let's open these boxes up, guys. So each box comes with a beautiful little booklet that tells you all about each snack. This is Sakurako's, see, so pretty. And at Tokyo Treat, it just says like the names and the descriptions and all that good stuff that you need to know. Let's first try some Tokyo Treat snacks. This box is everything, it's so bright. So we have these gorgeous Kit Kats. We have the Tokyo Layer Low, Caramel Corn. Is this a ramen? So many things. These boxes are always stuffed. Let's first try the Tokyo Layer Loaf. This is Tokyo Treat Limited Edition, guys. Oh my God, yes. Mmm, it tastes like a maple syrup cake. It's like waffle vibes. Oh my God. Mmm, love that. Sweet potato Kit Kats, I'm ready. Not legit, tastes like a sweet potato. <laughs> I'm not joking. But also with like a Kit Kat chocolate flavor. Mmm, so good. Let's try this caramel corn little puff things. Mmm, it has a roasted flavor to it. Sweet and salty, fantastic. Let's try this Purushu Jelly Sparkling Grape Soda. There's jelly in it! <laughs> I didn't see that coming! It's delicious! That's the most interesting soda I've ever had. That is game changing. So these are Crackle Panic Grape Candies. Love that. That's so much fun. The Tokyo Treat Box slayed. I'm gonna save the other snacks for later because there's still a ton. But now let's try some Sakurako. Okay, this. Oh, what is this? Oh my God. This looks amazing. Oh my God, look. There's teas, guys. Um, I'm gonna make this right now. It's um, Ibaraki Sencha with green tea. And then we have our piece of tableware. Let's see it. A gorgeous 
plate. Look how pretty, guys. That's stunning. Let's make our little tea. So these are little things filled with bean paste. I love bean paste. So shiny and pretty. Mmm. So sweet, so light, so fluffy. Obsessed. Ooh, super herby, I love it. I'm gonna dip this into the tea. Mmm, <laughs> made it warm, so good. Let's try this sweet potato cake. It's so adorable. That is so incredibly moist. Look at that texture, guys. It melts in your mouth. Let's try this strawberry tart. All these desserts are so delicate and they taste so fresh. Let's try this Ibaraki puffed rice carrot. Mmm, it's like sweet puffed rice. It's almost like a kettle corn. Oh, I can't stop with this one. <laughs> Let's try this Perinto natto snack. So it's a fermented soybean. Mmm, super interesting flavor. I've never had anything like this. The flavor is like pow. Let's try these um, Ibaraki chestnut Carintos. Mmm, these are delicious. Super crunchy, super sweet. Guys, these boxes are amazing. Go and get some for yourself. Use my code Timmy for $5 off your first box. You can purchase this month's boxes until October 15th. The links are at the top of the description, okay? Go check it out, Tokyo Treat in Sakurako. Iconic. Okay, let's unbox the Applebee's menu. Let's do it right now. Oh yes, these aren't all the entrees they have, of course, they have a big menu, um, but I got most of them, I feel, like a lot of them. Well, actually not a lot. There's a lot of steaks and stuff I didn't get, but steak is expensive, guys, and so are these taste tests. So <laughs> I was like, no steak for me today. No, thank you. And it's Applebee steak, so I'm not, I, <laughs> I wouldn't expect a lot. <laughs> Anyways, let's start unboxing the food. By the way, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Take Out, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. It's a great time here. If you're a hungry queen like me, subscribe. You'll love it. I swear. Unless if you don't like me, then that's your problem. Something smells like ham. Like a pig, a fresh pig. Okay, so this is the riblets. Is that the smell, guys? So, wow, these are riblets. I almost got the ribs, but then I saw riblets and I was like, I've never had a riblet in my life. Let me try it. It smells very smoked. Let me Google and see what a riblet is super quick. What is a riblet? <laughs> riblet, riblet, ribbit. <laughs> it's like a frog. Pork riblets are a cut of meat prepared by a butcher. Really? That's what butchers do. Didn't know that. When the butcher trims spare ribs to make them straight and flat, the pieces he removes are sold as riblets. This is like the excess? <laughs> I paid $16 for the little extra pieces. Oh my God. I should have Googled this first, to be honest. Well, they look fine, so can't wait to try those. And then we have the, um, ooh, this is the, I think, prime rib sandwich. Okay, it's kind of small. Um, and these all come with sides, but for some reason it's like separate, like packaged like separately, so that's interesting. I mean, it's a good size, it's fine. It looks good. These meals are kind of small. This is a full meal, guys. This is the <laughs> lime um, fiesta chicken with the Spanish rice. And you know, it is pretty heavy, but the container is just so small. Do you see this? Oh yes, um, price wise, the meals were like between $11 to like $15. Then we have my fries. Those look yummy. They smell yummy too. The chicken fajita like roll up, but let's be honest, it's like a wrap or a burrito kind of. Looks good. The side once again is separate. Looks pretty big actually, so that's good. And then we have the classic cheeseburger. They have like six different burgers, but I was like, let me just get like the plain cheeseburger just to really see how the burger quality is at Applebee's, right? It looks pretty good. Now what's in this tiny little dainty bag? Let's see. Feels hot. Ooh. Ooh, sides. Okay, so this is the four cheese mac and cheese. Looks very nice. A lot of toppings. Smells good. Bacon-y. The mashed potatoes with the red skins on them. Love that. Looks good. Here's some melted ice cream. 
It goes with the desserts. I got two desserts, so we have two ice creams. Let's just drink it. Oh, milkshake who? I know. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these into the freezer so that they can stay kind of chilled until I'm ready to eat them. Here are the chicken tenders. What is this? This is tiny, guys. So these come with, I think, fries. So this isn't the full meal, but still, these are very small tenders and there's only four of them. That's kind of disappointing. I don't think that's worth it. It was about, I think, $12. Here's the crunchy onion rings. Once again, small portion, but they look fantastic. The aroma. <laughs> The aroma, they smell life changing. Ooh, okay, now this looks good. This is the blondie dessert. Ooh, that's fuck. It's a pretty big slice. It has some nuts on it, just like a lot of people that you know. And um, it has some sort of icing, smells like maple icing. Looks good. And then we have the molten meltdown <laughs> cake thing, okay. That looks pretty nice. Ooh, looks very molten. And then last but not least, we have the two side salad, Caesar and house. Let's hope they slay me. Okay, so that's everything guys. Honestly, I'm so pumped. I feel like Applebee's could slay me today. They're not known as the most delicious, classy restaurant, but sometimes the underdog can come through and be the star. They can be the Lady Gaga of A Star Is Born. So Applebee's, this could be your moment. I'm gonna set the food up, get my thumbnail, and then we'll start feasting on the bees and the apples. My feet, my legs. Okay guys, so what should we try? Oh, my chair. <laughs> Let's first try the fries because they're gonna get gross very soon. Let's see, guys. Applebee's fries. Miss mm. B. Oh my god. I'm kind of gagged. <laughs> I did not expect this from the apple herself. Mmm. Let me slow down. I'm just very hungry. Oh my god. So, these are some of the best sit down restaurant fries I've ever had. The flavor. Wait, it's kind of stuck in my chest. The flavor, they're so salty, they have black pepper which really comes through and makes them taste kind of special and kind of different. I'm not like other girls type of vibe. That's my vibe. I'm, I'm quirky. <laughs> but for real, amazing flavor. They taste like they've been fried in like fresh oil, not old oil, thank God. They're fluffy on the inside still. Um, Not really crispy because they've been sitting out, but they're fantastic. Like. So good. I'm gonna give Applebee's fries a 10 out of 10. I'm so good. What a great start to this massive taste test. Okay. So, next up, let's try the riblets. I'm just like, they're just staring at me, kind of scaring me, intimidating me, telling me I'm worthless, which is fine. Where does it start and where does it end? I don't know. <laughs> is this the tip? Is that the tip? We don't know. They're very barbecue-y, very coated. Okay. Looks fine. Looks okay. Let's try it. There's a bone? Well, that was a whole bone. I'm so, wait, these have bones. They don't look like they have bones, but they have bones. I'll just rip some meat off. Hmm. Hmm. Bone. And they're like really small.
small bones that are in disguise. You can't tell what's a bone and what's not. Um, okay. Hmm, very interesting. That's a bone too. It's mostly bone. I just want some pure meat. Guys, everywhere I look, there's a <laughs> there's a bone staring back at me. But okay, let me pause. Let me pause. Not him. Besides the bones, these are okay. They do taste like normal ribs. There's just less meat and more bone. They do have a bit less fat than um, typical ribs, but they don't have that nice crispiness and like charred fat that ribs typically have. It's just kind of just like the inside meat. That's like what it tastes like. Um, the meat is not chewy. It's pretty tender, which is good. But overall, they're just kind of anticlimactic. So I'm giving the riblets, I think, a five out of 10. Could be worse, could be better. Very bony. Okay, next up, let's try the chicken fajita roll up. Basically a wrap. Like I said, it looks good. So I see chicken, I see cheese, I see um, lettuce, tomato. We have a sauce. Smells like a zesty ranch. Okay, let's try it. It got very soggy, but that's just how takeout is, you know? Mmm. Okay. Hmm. It's good. It's giving burrito without the rice and the beans. It's like a wrap ito, a wrap ito. Uh, <laughs> the tortilla tastes a little cold. It could be like kind of charred, but it's just very, very white. See? Um, but that's not a big deal. The chicken has a good kind of fajita flavor. A lot of seasonings, a lot of salt, a little too much salt, but it's fine. Um, there's a lot of cheese in this and the cheese tastes like high quality. It's, it's very gooey and just has a good bite to it. And um, the lettuce and the tomatoes taste very fresh and crunchy. Overall, it's like a good little Tex-Mex wrap, okay? And I enjoyed it. I would get this, I think, again. And this ranch is fine. It isn't amazing i'm not blown away but it tastes kind of like in between restaurant ranch and store-bought ranch like a nice middle ground so yeah i'm gonna give this chicken fajita roll up um a nice six out of ten it's good okay let's try a dessert guys i want to try this blondie right now so in case you don't know a blondie is basically a brownie without the um like cocoa powder and like chocolate it has more of a brown sugary flavor typically we have some ice cream here Ooh, nice and frozen again <laughs> ah god that was intense let's put some of this icing on top <laughs> not too much it looks very sweet like too sweet okay and then let's put some of this halfway melted ice cream Ooh, okay Looks good still to me. Let's try the blonde day. Hmm. I like it, but it has issues. <laughs> Very serious issues, guys. That's the texture inside, see? So, it's not as rich as your typical blondie. It's not as gooey as your typical blondie. It's more like a dry cake. <laughs> like, <laughs> desert sand cake. It's not terrible. 
the flavor is very nice. It does have that brown sugary kind of um, rich, warm flavor to it, but the dryness. It's like, guys, brownies and blondies are supposed to be kind of fudgy, right? This is just totally dried up and like, almost like a dry cornbread or something. <laughs> but the flavor's good, so I like it. I don't know. It's just kind of sad. Um, I think I'm gonna have to give it a five out of 10. If it had a good blondy texture, it would be a 10 because the flavor is so good. But I had to take off half the points because texture really is important here. Sorry. So while we're at it, let's try the other dessert, the Molten Meltdown. Let's do it. We have the ice cream out. Ah! It's just so, it's so fast. Okay. Let's see some molten action, guys. Okay. Wait. Oh, hello. Very thick, very nice. Let's see. Oh, I just spit. Oh my God. Oh, God. That's rich. It's too much. Oh wow. Is it the molten stuff that's rich or is it the cake itself? That's the molten stuff, wow. It's very strong. I'm gonna try to get the cake by itself completely. Oh, it's all rich. So the molten juices are very intense. It's like a super dark chocolate sauce that has been overly sweetened, so it's too sweet, and all that sweetness just doesn't go well with the dark chocolate flavor, if that makes sense. It's just like a lot. And the cake itself has a beautiful texture. It's very nice, very fluffy, moist, um, but it has chunks of like dark chocolate in it, and that dark chocolate is too sweet too. I mean, I do love like the dark chocolate chunks texture with the cake texture. It's a very satisfying combination. And, like the way that your teeth just sink into it, very nice. But it's just all too rich and too strong and too sweet to the point where it just makes me cringe when I eat it. It's like, oh, oh my God. Like if cakes were like men, this would be an alpha male. <laughs> intimidating man that I don't want to be around. It's just a lot. I'm giving the molten meltdown. Oh, it made me melt down. I'm giving it, I think, uh, 3.5 out of 10. Too sweet. Okay. Next up, let's try the chicken tenders. Okay. We have some honey mustard. Sweet. Mustardy. Love that. Okay. This is the tender. Let's see. Oh, rubber. <laughs> Tough. Let's first try it by itself and then with the sauce. Okay. The honey mustard is very nice. Sweet but subtle. Mustardy, but not too pronounced. Now the tender itself needs help. So, first of all, the size, no. Second of all, the texture of the chicken inside, it is real, like it tastes real, it feels real, but it's just kind of rubbery and not even in like an overcooked way. It just tastes naturally rubbery. I don't know how to describe it, it's just kind of tough, you know? Um, now the breading is too thick. It's kind of rocky and crunchy in a bad way. You know, it's like <laughs> eating gravel. <laughs> it does have that typical chicken tender flavor, but that can't save the trashy breading and the trashy chicken. And overall, it's trash. 
I don't like it. I'm giving the chicken tenders, I think, a three out of 10. I've had much better, much. So next up, let's try the four cheese mac and cheese and the mashed potatoes at the same time. Why not? So let's see how the mac and cheese looks. Let's see that texture. Okay, oh, it's very kind of stuck. Hold on. Okay, I see some, some sauce in there. Not the creamiest mac and cheese, but it could taste good, right? Let's get some bacon, everything. Let's try it. Focus, focus. Let's try it. <laughs> That's not good. I would give you a zero. Wait, what did she say? What does Tyra say? Oh, I would give you a zero, but that's not possible. So I'm giving you a one. This mac and cheese is not good whatsoever. It tastes like frozen aisle mac and cheese, but not even Stouffer's. That tastes better than this. This tastes like pretty flavorless. The noodles don't taste cooked enough, first of all. The sauce, just tastes like a white sauce. It doesn't taste like mac and cheese sauce. Does that make sense? It tastes almost like a really plain Alfredo. And then for some reason, the bacon does not go well with the sauce. It just kind of all tastes very um, chicken carbonara, but like in a bad way. <laughs> like the smokiness of the bacon doesn't go well with that super plain white sauce. It's just overall beneath mediocre. It's just sad. It's Pathetic. Honestly, this could be the worst sit-down restaurant mac and cheese that I've ever had. It's just very, very, very sad. I'm giving this a one out of 10. Sorry, but for mac and cheese, it's an insult. Mac and cheese should be delectable, you know? Okay. Next up, let's try the onion rings. Oh, wait, we have the mashed potatoes. I'm so sorry. Wow, you're just that forgettable. <laughs> let's see the mashed potato texture. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this looks pretty good. Pretty creamy and nice. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Okay, okay. So, I'm happy to report that these taste totally real. They taste like fresh potatoes, not powdered boxed trash. So that's good. Um, they do taste homemade, but, but they taste like they've been made by someone who doesn't know how to make mashed potatoes. They just mashed up some potatoes with some butter and possibly a little drop of milk. They're just too plain and a lot of people like plain food. I don't, I like flavor. These potatoes need cream for sure. Maybe some sour cream too. Some more salt and some more pepper at the least. They're just super, super, super bare. And um, I feel like, you know, like a kid might like this cause it, it's like very plain. But if you're an adult and you like something that plain, I'm wishing you well. Okay, they're not terrible once again. They're just super plain. I'm gonna give them, I think, um, a four out of 10. Could be worse, could be worse. Now it's time to try the onion ring, okay? Now when I get proposed to, I want this to be the ring. I don't need diamonds when I have onions. You know what I mean, ladies? Super pretty, very crunchy looking. Let's try it. Ooh. They're actually 
actually quite good. I'm enjoying these. Okay, so new napkin. These are super, super crunchy. Great batter, perfectly thick. We have some beautifully cut onions inside. They do taste quite mediocre, but they're good. It's a good onion ring. Nothing amazing, nothing bad. Now the flavor is very interesting. Um, there's a hint of like celery seed, and that's not typically my favorite um, herb or seasoning, but in this, it works. It's like a nice celery-ish flavor with that crunch and the onion. It just all tastes very good together. They are basic, but they're good. So I'm giving them, I think, a nice 6.5, strong. Next up, let's try the burger. Okay, this is just a plain cheeseburger. So um, it has a bun, which is stuck. <laughs> To the patty which is fine it has two pieces of cheese very nice we have some pickles we have some onion um lettuce tomato no mayo or anything like that i mean that's fine like you're supposed to add it um yourself right so i'm just gonna add some of this ranch actually why not it's here bon appetit mm. Mmm. 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 Okay. Wow. Unexpected. So, this is a good burger, guys. The meat, first of all, tastes like good quality. It's very well seasoned. It's very salty, but not too much peppery, but still simple. And the cheese adds a lot of creaminess because there's two slices, not one. So it just goes above and beyond. All the toppings taste super, super, super fresh and crunchy. Um, and the bun tastes great. I'm impressed. It's a good classic cheeseburger. Um, and the meat is also like thick, but not too thick. Applebee's. Who knew? More like apple burger. I'm giving the cheeseburger, I think, a nice eight out of 10. It's a good, strong burger. Very nice, guys. This taste test has been very up and down. Some terrible items, some good items, a few great items like the fries. <laughs> there haven't been a lot of great items, but that's okay, you know? You can't win them all. And Applebee's, I feel like they're living up to my expectation, which was, this is going to be okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Next up, let's try the salads. Okay. So we have Caesar and we have house. House is typically my go-to salad, but I love a good Caesar also. I have said this before, but I'll say it again. Um, if you get a takeout salad, save the lid. Put it back on once you have your dressing on the salad. And then we're just gonna shake it. You're eating a salad and getting a workout at the same time. You're a dainty queen like me. Okay. Period. Caesar. See, perfectly coated in every way. We love that. And then house. Not like the show. Like the salad. <laughs> Let's first try the house salad. Get some croutons in there. Hello. Let's see. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay, so 
The ranch has potential, but it doesn't reach its potential. Like I can taste a glimmer of strong restaurant ranch in there, but it's so um, diluted and such a weak flavor that it's just disappointing. You know, if it was thicker, it would probably taste better and be more um, concentrated. It's just so diluted, guys. It's very watery. Um, the croutons taste fine. The lettuce tastes fine. But the cucumbers and the tomatoes are just chopped up so small that they fall to the bottom of the container and you can't really pick them up. Like, guys, these are the cucumbers right here. They're tiny, tiny cubes. Cube cumber. <laughs> so overall, it's a sad house salad. I'm giving this a three out of 10. Now it's time for Caesar. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Love it. Okay, classic Caesar flavor, guys, honestly. It's very tart, lemony, not fishy at all. The dressing goes so well with the croutons and the Parmesan shreds. Lettuce is super crisp. It's just a strong, simple Caesar salad. Very nice. I'm giving it, I think, an 8 out of 10. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. We have two items left, guys. We have the Fiesta lime chicken and the prime rib sandwich. So it has prime rib, <laughs> obviously, um, onions and cheese on a cheesy looking baguette thing. Okay, let's see. Wow, 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 wow. So, the meat is so Philly cheesesteak y. I love that. It's salty, crispy on the edges. Fantastic beef. Fantastic. The onions are perfectly cooked, perfectly soft. Not too caramelized, because sometimes. Caramelized onions can get that kind of really rich flavor. These don't have that. They're just nice and sauteed. And the cheese, very processed, delicious, salty. I love it. <laughs> now the bun to me tastes a little stale, a little too tough. I think this meat would go a lot better with a softer bun or like a softer bread, anything. It's just too tough. But. This sandwich is fantastic, delicious, I love it. I'm giving it a nine out of 10. It would be a 10 if it had better bread. That's it. So good, fantastic. So last but not least, we have the Fiesta Lime Chicken. So pumped about this one, I'm getting full. So let's do this. Okay, so let's first try the Spanish rice. roller coaster guys this is too much last item was fantastic this tastes like trash <laughs> well just the rice so far this rice tastes like instant 90 second microwavable store-bought rice like a zatarans or like one of those you know what i mean it just tastes so fake and processed and the seasonings just taste so microwaved you know what i mean oh Trash. That's some horrible rice. I'm giving it a <laughs> one out of 10. Okay, let's try this chicken. 
I think it's on a bed of chips, which is fun. Cute. And it has tons of cheese. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Get out of there. It's all kind of stuck. The chicken. Let's try it. Mm. Salty. Hmm. So, mm. the chicken's not bad. It's cooked perfectly. Tastes super real. Love that. But it is so salty, like intensely salty like sodium levels are at bloat like it's so salty that i don't think i could just like eat the whole thing it's just too much but it does have a very nice limey flavor and a nice char broiled kind of grilled flavor it has like that kind of like burnt taste which is good and the cheese tastes good all that tastes good it's just too salty so i'm giving the cilantro lime chicken, I think a 4.5 out of 10. So I tried everything. Overall, Applebee's was <laughs> messy. Let's just say that. Messy queen. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, have you had any of these entrees? If you have, tell me all your thoughts. And if you haven't, which one looked the best to you? Um, thank you so much to Tokyo Tree and to Sakurako for sponsoring this video. I'm so grateful. Love you guys so much, guys. Go and check them out. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.